I will explain the procedure for disassembly and maintenance of piston and connecting rod. Prepare the exclusive tools for disassembly of the piston. It starts from removing the piston. Leave the cylinder head open beforehand. Remove the protection ring before pulling out the piston. Turn the flywheel and set the piston at a position of about 80 to 90 degrees before TDC. Attach the liner supporting tool and spacer. Fix them with the tightening nuts of cylinder head. Place on the top of the piston the protection ring drawing out tool with the large diameter of taper part up. Remove the protection ring while turning the flywheel slowly. Remove the disassembling tools and the detached protection ring. Eliminate the carbon from the upper part of cylinder liner. Make a good condition in order to pull out the piston smoothly. Now, we proceed to the work for pulling out the piston. After putting the tap on the top of piston, screw the lifting eye bolt into the piston and stretch a wire. the piston up 20 to 30 mm. Now remove the upper metal of the bearing. After removing the metal, lift the piston up. Lift the piston smoothly so that Connecting rod should not damage the liner. Clean the liner after taking out the piston so that liner calibration can be done. For liner calibration we use inside micrometer and a template. Fix the template on the liner so that accurate reading can be taken by the inside micrometer. We measure cylinder liner in two directions, both starboard and aft and forward. Remove the piston pin from the removed piston for check and maintenance. Firstly, remove the piston pin circlips by pliers. The 
attach the piston pin while supporting the connecting rod. Secondly, remove the piston ring. Turn over the piston and detach the cover of piston cooling chamber. While tightening of the connecting rod, see these marks on the connecting rod and the bolts. They should be meshed properly. Now apply lube oil and the grease on the connecting rod bolts. After finishing the check and maintenance, exchange the necessary parts and assemble the piston and the connecting rod. Put the cover on the piston cooling chamber. At this time, fit its hole on the top of piston at the marking side, pump side. Renew the bolt and Belleville spring and then tighten them. Assemble the piston ring. Incorporate the oil ring with its coil joint shifted 180 degrees from its cut. Be careful not to mistake a setting order of second ring and top ring. Incorporate the piston rings with their marked sides facing upwards and their cuts shifted 120 degrees from those of adjacent rings.
Incorporate the piston and the connecting rod while aligning their set marks to each other and inserting the piston pin. At this time, incorporate the piston pin circlip with its opening facing straight down. Set the crank pin metals on the connecting rod and metal cap. At this time, don't apply the lube oil on the rear of the crank pin metals. Screw the lifting eye bolt into the piston and lift it. Install the piston and the connecting rod into the engine. As the preparation, apply lube oil on the piston, cylinder liner and crankshaft after installing the piston guide. Install the piston. At this time, align the set mark on the top of the piston with the fuel injection pump side. Insert the piston while tapping the piston with a resin hammer. Apply lube oil to the screw of connecting rod bolt and protect grease to the seating. Agree the set mark of metal cap with the set mark of connecting rod body. Fit the metal cap and then tighten the bolts. The connecting rod bolts are tightened by angle tightening method. Tighten the upper and lower bolts alternately in three steps to the punch mark confirmed in advance. After tightening, check the side motion of connecting rod. If it doesn't move, reassemble it. Finally, assemble the protection ring by hand.